situation. Not happy. I just wanted to say that before I started slacklining, I couldn't really even touch my toes. Becoming more aware of my body on the line sparked an interest in yoga, which led me to reading um, Light on Life, which is an amazing book. From there, I don't really, I haven't really put too much time into the yoga moves, and I'm really trying to just spread awareness around my body. My moves aren't to any code. I'm just seriously sitting there trying to dissipate awareness throughout my body as I locate certain muscles and movements. So yeah, um, yesterday I kind of had this daunting realization that I haven't been putting as much effort into slacklining as I have been in the past because of this YouTube thing. For me to even get into slacklining, I slacklined on a Gibbon Classic for about three and a half months, almost every single day for about two to three hours each day by myself in the woods. Every morning I got on that line and I stayed on it for hours. And that progression that happened from that was amazing. And where I was mentally was amazing. And that's fine, I mean the YouTube, like this was a big startup, I'm finding my way and what we're gonna do and there's still a lot to come and it's a little daunting to even think about it. I know that it will work its way, um, however, I need to be putting more progressive time on the slack line. Do you want to explain our rough draft plan? Of what we're doing this afternoon? Yeah. Our rough draft plan is to go to like the mushroom hunting area and take some pictures for our like banner, right Joe? Yeah. Just, uh, just to have some of our like family. We haven't really done that in a while, so we're gonna go maybe get a little mushy hunt on and take some pictures. Yeah. Mm, gosh, I've been eating all the dog treats. Stop eating the fucking dog treats, Joe. I, they're good. No. Okay, we are headed to the forest to pick mushrooms and get some shots for the banner, like Aspen said before. Finally going down. All right, Aspie's ready to go. Finally, let's do this. Fucking ready. So the last time we were here, Coda was a disobedient little shit. Good boy. So mommy's not fucking no, around wait. now. Mommy's got the electric shock collar on him. She would never use it. However, when Aspen gets angry, as you'll notice if you watch our vlog, she does have a dark, violent side that comes out. I think I might play back to the clip of you hitting me. Are you guys ready for a mushroom adventure? Are you ready for a mushroom adventure?
dinner. Are you gonna put that in the, the chili? Uh, I don't think I'm gonna put it in the chili. What are we having for dinner? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You're the Aspie. I don't know yet. I'm not really feeling anything today, honestly. So. All right, so we are back at Anthony and Sierra's. Yeah, Aster, yeah, you, yeah. you. Yeah. Hey, girl. Hey. What are you up to over here? Well, I just got done bawling my eyes out from the most ferocious fucking onions that I've cut in a while. And now I'm chopping a red pepper for the chili that I'm gonna make in mass quantities for, for our, um, Waterfall Highline Adventure. Feed us. All right, so Anthony just arrived back. Let's look at his little bag of goodies here. It's like Halloween almost. Shame you guys go out there. It's going in our belly. Yeah, they're older too, and like, yeah, we did. We hit a patch that was just like perfect. Hell yeah! So you guys found definitely found an area no one had hit. Bro, we were like, and then we figured out. Go time. That it was just animals. Here. Oh shit. Oh shit. You got to the top. Something wasn't happy with us being there. <laughs> You're so fucking cute, dude. Seriously. I have to do this now with the camera thing. I know that you're camera shy. <laughs> What? Try it. Are you are you videoing or are you looking at things? <laughs> I'm looking at things. I don't believe you. Who's definitely videoing?